Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Boy Zone. That's right. Well, you know, today I think we're just going to stand around for a good bit. So go ahead, go amongst yourselves. Go find something else to do. Yes. I will now commence videotaping myself doing nothing in complete utter boredom. Find another show. You'll like it way better. All right, they're gone. Boy Zone. Welcome to the Boy Zone. Of course, we had to trick everyone who's not a member so that we could drop that paywall and let, of course, the official members be here for the rest of it. And, of course, you know how we start everything out. On the Boy Zone, we need to get in touch with your emotions. So go ahead, lay them on us. Okay, that's plenty of emotional time now. We must move into something that's far more manly on the boy zone than talking about emotions. That's right, the next segment is poetry. Rabbits hop through the forest along their merry way. Oh no! A hunter! The rabbit tries to run away. Bang! Bang! Good thing it's deer season. The rabbit's fine. <laughs> that deer got fucked up. All right, moving straight into the next segment. Of course, that poetry was great, but it will not last until the end of the show. So that's why the next segment coming up is very important. We stole this one from the ladies, and we aren't ashamed to admit it. Of course, this is going to be our Snap Cup Award. <laughs> from L. From Legally Blonde. That's right. So, L from Legally Blonde, who gets the Snap Cup Award today? Well, Snaps. Come in to Chris. Way to go on completing that job and not fucking up like you usually do. <laughs> All right. Anyhow, that's done with that segment, so let's go ahead and break into a song. Because that's why this segment exists. Sometimes you fuck up at work and you didn't this time. There's a first time for everything. All right. Well, what an excellent song. Way to go not fucking up at work for the first time in a long time. And of course, unfortunately, with the end of the song, that's going to bring us near the end of the show. But we can't leave before we talk about our dinner plans. That's right. So, for dinner plans tonight, we have a special treat for you. This one is called O'Day Burrito. What you're going to want to do is go to your local grocery store... And if it's allowed in your diet and you've consulted a nutrition specialist, get you some frozen burritos, throw them motherfuckers in the microwave, and by throw, we mean place them gently on an officially capable of being microwaved plate and or apparatus with which to hold the burrito that you get from the store frozen. Heat that motherfucker up and eat that shit. Congratulations, you have dinner. Well, that's the end of, of course, our meal planning and dinner talk. But the best thing after a nice little dinner meal talk is to actually lay down and have some pillow talk. So bust out your pillows, lads, and let's go ahead and talk about the day. <sighs> Today was wonderful. Yes, I didn't fuck up at work. Usually, I do. And of course, we're talking in the third person almost, because we're not the ones who fuck up at work. That's you. And yes. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, you work with Joey? Oh, unfortunate. Ah, sick. Huh. Pillow talk over. 
That's going to bring us to the end of the show. Boys off.